Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort which we ourselves are comforted by God. Today, it marks a year since us as Bushiri family escorted home a precious, intelligent, and spiritually gifted member of our family, Saint Israel. It's exactly 365 days since our charming, ever smiling, and beautiful Saint Israel returned to the Lord when we all needed her most. We are here to reaffirm our belief that beautiful Ella's soul flies, sings, and smiles up there with our Lord. And we are also here to release the pain of losing Ella as we continue to seek solace within our community and from the Lord. Ella was full of life. She was a light that illuminated the world around her. For those who lived with her knew that laughter and joy gravitated towards where Israela was. It is therefore without doubt when we say that we shall never forget Ella, that we shall never cease to miss her, and that we'll forever love her until the day we meet again. I stand here on behalf of His Majesty, Command Five. He has sent me to represent him, celebrating the life of Saint Israel. He is thanking all of you. You have traveled along from different countries in Africa, within this country, and beyond. And today, we are here today to encourage every person globally, as we are global leaders, to inform you that there is a reason for everything. And God's will is paramount than our own personal wills. Much as sometimes I want to cry, but I'm always overtaken by joy, knowing that the custodian of our daughter is God himself. The custodian who's keeping her now it is God himself. She's not living in a house built by bricks or built by anything. She's living in a house built by God himself where she's singing in glory. So we are comforted and encouraged that we know and believe that the same God who we preach and tell you about and preach to you about is the same God who is a custodian of our daughter. And I'd like to say thank you all over the world and all of you are here and all over the world for your love and your great comfort that God has always used you to stand and encourage us. And also, we would like to comfort all of you and teach you that no matter what happens, God is on the throne and he is in control of every event. So here we are today celebrating the life, her life, because we don't believe in death. We believe that though we live, yet we are dead to this world. So whether we are in the flesh, whether we are in the spirit, but we are in Christ. Whether we see her, whether we are with her physically, whether we are with her spiritually, we are with her. And we believe that this is what we preach, whether in the flesh, whether in the spirit, we are with her.